Hello viewers, today we will know about the Viva questions regarding CT scan. After showing this CT scan film, the examiner will ask you, what is this? So you have to tell, this is CT scan head, a CT scan brain. So what is this sections? These are axial or transverse or horizontal sections. Okay. Now another question will be, why they are displayed in these quadrants? So sections are taken usually at the distance of 1.5 mm. Here you can see uh, in recumbent position, the patient is lying down and uh, the sections are taken from above downward. So one section, this is another section another section so these are usually at the distance of 1.5 mm so if the lesion present at the depth of 5 mm then we have to focus on fourth quadrant because 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 and then another fourth quadrant will show the lesion which is at the depth of 5 mm so we will concentrate on fourth Okay, this is first, second, third and fourth. Okay, like this. Now, the examiner will ask you, okay, brain is gray in color. What structure will you get as bright and dark shadow in CT scan? Or in other words, what present hyperechogenicity and what are hypoechoic structure? Hyper and hypo. So, one who remain hyper excited like these people, watch BBC News and has got bright future. These are mnemonic. Like these, BBC News, that is B for blood, bone, and C for contrast, IV contrast. News is new blood. Only up to uh, 3 to 5 days. They are bright in impression. This is bone. And this is, this has got bright impression. The, here is the IV angiography uh, of renal angiography. So, these are contrast and blood. Here you can see this is a case of subarachnoid hemorrhage and this hemorrhagic blood this is bright impress having bright impression due to its hyper echogenicity. So BBC news blood, bone and IV contrast. And one who remain hypoactive like this people. This one, one who remain hypoactive become fatty and has got dark future. Like this, just to remember, to memorize fatty. F for fat and fluid. These are the, in arrow, they are showing the fatty infiltration of liver, which has got dark impression. Again, fluid, that is uh, like CSF in um, brain scan. And air or gas, this is a case of, uh, here is the pneumothorax. So, they are black in color. And this is blood inside the heart. So, these are having the bright impression. And this is black due to air. Another one is fatty, T for tumor. These are tumor having the dark impression. These are the pancreatic tumor. And I for infarction. So this is case of there is a semic stroke of brain. Yeah, a stroke is brain. So a semic stroke due to a semic stroke. There is a dark impression. Now another question will be what will you appreciate in CT head? So, BDC, PBMS, BDC padho, varna, midline shift ho jayega. BDC padho, 
स्टडी स्टडी बी डी सी बी डी चौरासिया बुक वर्णा डैट मीन्स अदरवाइज मिडलाइनशिप नो लॉन्गर विल रिमेन इन द सेंटर सो इन सी टी स्कैन ब्रेन वी हैव टू लुक फॉर बोन बी डी सी पढ़ो वर्णा मिड लाइन सेप्ट सो बी फॉर बोन फर्स्ट वी आर सींग द बोन ओके डी फॉर डोरामीटर द मेनिंजियल लेयर द थिकेस्ट वन इज द डोरामीटर एंड वी विल ओनली अप्रिसिएट द डोरा ओके सी फॉर सिस्टर्न आफ्टर डैट कम्स सिस्टर्न ओके सिस्टर्न इज वॉट इज द वाइड सर्बेक्नोइड स्पेस हैविंग पूल ऑफ सी एस एफ एंड पी फॉर पैरेंट काइमा बी डी सी पढ़ो वर्णा वी फॉर वेंट्रिकल दिस इज वेंट्रिकल दर्ड वेंट्रिकल हेयर इज द वेंट्रिकल एंड मिड लाइन सेप्ट दिस इज दिस इज द मिड लाइन एक्सेस इफ दे मिड लाइन सेप्ट यू हैव टू लुक एट दिस फ्यूचर बोन डोरामीटर सिस्टर्न पैरेंट काइमा वेंट्रिकल एंड मिड लाइन सेप्ट है ना सी टी स्कैन ऑफ हेड ऑफ ब्रेन देन हाउ मैनी टाइप ऑफ हेमाटोमा यू नो सो दे आर फोर टाइप ऑफ हेमाटोमा एक्स्ट्रा डूरल हेमाटोमा सब डूरल हेमाटोमा सब एक्नोइड हेमाटोमा एंड इंट्रापेरेंट कैमल और सेब्रल हेमाटोमा आउटसाइड द डोरामीटर हेयर इज द फर्स्ट कम बोन देन डोरा दिस वन इज डोरामीटर आउटसाइड द डोरा इज द एक्स्ट्रा डूरल एंड बिलो द डोरा इज द सब डूरल एंड इन साइड द ब्रेन कैमा ब्रेन पैन एंड कैमा इज इंट्रा पैन एंड कैमल और सरेब्रल हेमाटोमा एंड अनदर वन इज द सब एरेक्नोइड बिलो द एरेक्नोइड मीटर वॉट विल बी द सेप ऑफ ओपैसिटी इन एक्स्ट्रा डूरल एंड सब डूरल हेमाटोमा एंसर विल बी ई फॉर एक्स्ट्रा डूरल Here we are seeing the extra dural hematoma outside the dura meter, just below the bone. And E for egg. So egg-like hematoma, extra dural. S for saucer. And S for subdural. Here this one is the subdural, below the dura meter, subdural hematoma, which is saucer-like. And extra dural, egg-like. Why extra dural hematoma gives egg shaped or biconvex opacity, whereas subdural hematoma give saucer shaped or crescentic opacity? Because in extra extra dural hematoma, source of blood leak is artery, mostly anterior trunk of middle meningeal artery. Here you can see the middle meningeal artery, and this is the anterior trunk. This is at the site of terion. most common site for the injury in case of extra dural hematoma and anterior trunk of middle meningeal artery it can get injured and there will be blood leak it comes out rapidly with force and in large amount present egg like opacity whereas in subdural hematoma source of blood leak is vein that is superior mostly the superior cerebral vein this one superior cerebral this is superior cerebral sinus and here is the superior cerebral vein okay so blood will just ooze out slowly due to the much less pressure inside vein compared to arteries take saucer shaped opacity okay no now what type of hematoma is dangerous extra dural or sub dural so extra dural is more dangerous due to its rapid spread it may affect motor area resulting into contralateral hemiplegia it will go up to the motor area okay now what causes subarachnoid hemorrhage and how it presents subarachnoid hemorrhage is due to the rupture of berry aneurysm this is berry aneurysm at the there is a congenital malformation there is absence of tunica media at the circle of the site of circle of willis and most common site is the anterior communicating artery 40% here we can see this is subarachnoid hemorrhage and there is spreading everywhere 
the blood filling the subacnoid cistern and extending into the sylvian fissure bilaterally just to memorize here is the question is how it presents subarachnoid hemorrhage so subarachnoid hemorrhage s a h sa sa means amit sa here is the amit sa home minister of india present with lss that's sa lss sa loves sonal sa his wife sonal sa so lss loves sa loves sonal sa loves that is loss of consciousness sudden headache and stiffness of neck these are the presenting feature in case of subarachnoid hemorrhage now another question will be what causes cerebral or intraparenchymal hemorrhage so cerebral hemorrhage occur in hypertensive patient in middle age group due to the rupture of lenticulo striate branch of middle cerebral artery this is middle cerebral artery and here is the lenticulo striate branch okay and these are often known as charcot artery of cerebral hemorrhage and this is intraparenchymal hemorrhage which also extending into the ventricles so this is a new blood so showing having the bright impression and encroaching over the ventricle here these are the lenticular striate branch and here they are showing the leakage that is blood begins to fill the space inside the brain okay now tell me something about the cistern the examiner will ask you tell me about the cistern so cistern is the wide subarachnoid space having pool of csf cistern are mainly four visible in the ct brain they have mixing nature just like this friends mixing nature so m i q s mix m for mesenchymal cistern i for interpeduncular cistern q for quadrigeminal cistern and s for sylvian cistern just around the midbrain is the mesenchymal cistern at the base of brain where the circle of villus lies interpeduncular cistern just below the midbrain is the quadrigeminal cistern and in between the temporal and the frontal lobe is the sylvian cistern and how we can appreciate these cisterns so just for memorizing am for mesenchymal and am for marriage so it has got ring shaped we will see later on so ring shaped as csf is a fluid so fatty dark impression the dark impression like but the ring shape okay mesenchymal cistern i am a star so interpeduncular cistern it has got a star shaped opacity q quadrigeminal q means q in hindi that is y so w shaped and s sylvian cistern s s means s as is donkey so like the ear of donkey in this mix m m for marriage m for ring here is the ring shaped opacity this one is ring shaped opacity at the level of midbrain then interpeduncular i am a star these are interpeduncular so star shaped star shaped and here is the q this is q quadrigeminal cistern and sylvian cistern this is sylvian cistern at the junction of frontal and the temporal lobe these are sylvian cistern so we have to look for is there any irregularity the normal shape is the mix am for marriage and am for ring shaped so it should be ring shaped if this is distorted we have to look for the abnormality i for interpeduncular i am a star so a star shaped interpeduncular should be star shaped q for quadrigeminal q is q means y that is w shaped and as for as 
that is donkey that, like the ear ear of a donkey both side okay and another feature we have to look for in the city brain is the parenchyma this sulci and this is the ct normal uh, city brain so this sulci and gyra are visible okay but if there is uh, an abnormality this architecture is lost okay ventricle this is ventricle the filled with csf so these are not uh, both side not similar they are distorted here it is distorted okay due to the space occupying lesion and uh, subdural hematoma this is saucer like opacity bright because there is blood collection hematoma is what the collection of blood so it pushes the ventricle on opposite side so there is also midline shift and ventricle is distorted here this is a ct of hydrocephalus patient so both ventricle is dilated but there is no midline shift okay and this is a case of brain tumor here is the and it is enhanced by the contrast so bright impression but it pushes the ventricle here is the ventricle is very much compressed and there is also midline septus there at this reason okay thank you